What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here, and um, I'm just chilling, waiting for the free breakfast to kick in. And I just thought I'd share with you how you actually do find supercars in London, because I've watched a couple videos, and I think that I could describe it a tad bit better, because it's way different than I thought it'd be whenever I got here. So, if you'd like to learn how to spot supercars in London, if you ever plan on coming to London, this is a video for you. Stay tuned. Alright, so basically what I've been told is there are these loops you have to make by like Knightsbridge, you go down Sloan Street and by Harrods and these hotels in certain areas. That's not how you do it. You pretty much, if there's a car that's like hyper tier or something crazy looking or anything like that, people will post it on Instagram and all you have to do is go to hashtag live uploads and then it'll be at the top here. Let's look right now. So you go to Instagram. Type in hashtag live upload. And you have all the recent stuff. Like, okay, look, LaFerrari. LaFerrari Aperta spotted. Let's see if that's here. Auto Spa is in Stockholm so you know not to freak out about that let's see what else that's probably a Lamborghini um okay I'll just show you an example of when the TDF popped up Okay, so you saw how in my video I was like, oh man, a TDF has been spotted. Well, this is how I knew. You go to hashtag live uploads. Look, I saw this. Somebody was nice enough to geotag the location. You click on the geotag location. And oddly, which is a restaurant here in London. And you just hit the little thing. Open in maps. And then you're good to go, really. That's how you do it. Um, yeah, there's no, like, specific route you have to take. There's ones that you could, in turn, I guess, take, but it's so far walking. That's why I walk upwards of 20 miles almost a day, because I thought you had to walk a loop. When, honestly, you can just go to the corner of Sloan Street, and there's, like, a three-way intersection thing. You stand on the island in the middle and just watch them come by, because that's, that's honestly the best thing that saves your feet. It saves your time and you're not running back and forth like I was. So, in Knightsbridge, it's definitely hang out on Salon Street. After 5 p.m., they do have free parking, which is when all the guys come out because I guess they're got to save the money to earn those cars, I guess. But actually, by Harrods, we went into a shop to grab some water, and at this, whenever we went into the shop, a Bugatti drove by and so that's what the Bugatti was I could have seen it on the road but I decided to go get water instead which I didn't know that it was there so yeah make loops around Harrods I guess if you're gonna make loops up and down Salon Street stand on the corner and that's probably your best bet for Knightsbridge now Mayfair is a bit different um, there's not really a loop either. You honestly just have to wait for the live uploads or just go on a walk and sightsee and you'll see stuff on the way. Because that La Ferrari that I saw, honestly, it was just random. I was just walking, turned the corner, and saw that beast coming on the street. So, I don't really know. Um, there are a lot of hotels. The Dorchester is in Mayfair. You can just check that occasionally, check valets of other hotels, there's some crazy stuff that pops up. But honestly, the way to spot here in London is live uploads. Everybody works together, it's really awesome checking that out. You'll make friends, all you have to do is see some other kid with a camera and you can strike up a conversation about it, like what's the best car y'all saw today or something like that. So, that's really about it. Nothing too fancy, 
It really does help if you have a car though. So you're not running all over if something is in Mayfair when you're in Knightsbridge like I was nine out of the ten times. <clears throat> yeah, it gets it gets really annoying. Cause that's about like a two mile distance in between the two and you gotta run. Cause cars here, they don't stay parked. They'll park for like ten minutes, if that. I remember I was out of town at the Joe McCarty dealership. And my friend said the P1 was literally parked at this place for two minutes. And they barely got pictures of it in time. So you just got to be quick. Stay active with the live uploads. If you have data here, that helps a lot more. I didn't have unlimited. So I had to make my time on Instagram short unless I was in the hotel. So yes, check live uploads. Make friends. Ask around. And you'll find some great cars here in London. Um, also, I don't think... It was that crazy because of what time it is. It's June right now. And in July to August is like the main time when all the Arab guys come out and bring out all their cars. So if you're coming in July or August, good luck to you. Uh, can't wait to see what y'all start spotting. If y'all come to London, just let me know if this helped out at all. Uh, I know there's a Chiron and a P1 just chilling in an underground car park that you can't get into because some other kid posted a picture he knows the owner so lucky guy to him but yeah if y'all are coming let me know take some pictures send them to me and let me know if this helped if you like the video leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next video